murder and CO2, carbon dioxide. Wow, okay. <laughs> I'm bad at chemistry. Oh my god. Here we go. This is your first time doing a test like this. Have you yeah. ever done V-step or IELTS speaking tests? Uh, I, yeah, I, uh, I already did that like two months ago in another center. Yeah. Okay, good. Well, then you should do it. Kind of, it's kind of like this. Okay. All right. Fix your camera a little bit so I can see your mouth. So that way when the text comes up, it'll be under your chin, not through your face. Lower, lower, lower. Lower, lower, lower. No. You have to go lower. You have to show those big biceps of yours. Okay. Okay. <laughs> but I'm gonna we're gonna read through each part before we answer. So you ready to start the first one? Part okay. one? Okay. I'm ready. I'm ready. Do it. Okay. So I'm gonna read this. The examiner will ask you six questions. You will have two to three minutes to answer them. The examiner will ask you about two common topics. You will first need to answer the main question and then give one or two reasons or examples to support your answer. So why you say that, all right? So the first question is going to be about, first topic is going to be about your hometown. Yeah. So where do you come from? Um, I come from a place that where my mom lives. And my dad is being forced to live there because he married my mother. And is it Kampha Kwangling, a beautiful place with a lot of minerals, beautiful bays and things. Yeah. Okay. Do you like living in your hometown? Um, not really, because that the air pollution, uh, because the pollution level there is, is usually bad. It makes me feel uncomfortable whenever I breathe. Uh, also, the dust in the air makes the road look dirty whenever it rains. Uh, those are the reasons that I do like living in Kampha. Mm, yeah, some, some bad pollution up there. Yeah. What yeah. is it famous or well-known for? What do people know Kampha for? Obviously, Kampha is in Kwangling, so is this place famous for coal? Um, plus, since we have a long coastline with beautiful beaches and bay, I think tourism is also a popular profession here too. Yeah. Okay. All right. Topic two is going to be about the future. Mm. So what is your dream job? It's kind of hard because I don't have a aim for the future. But I would say that my dream job is going to be a programmer because that, first of all, it's an easy job and I'm good at math and information technology. Secondly, technology is needed a lot today's life, so we need to have knowledge about it. Yeah. And last, I think that you got a high salary if you do this job. Yeah. All right. How long will it take you to get there with all your schooling and everything? I think after I finish high school, no, after I finish university, I will plan to go to the higher university of technology, you know, FPT. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. I go there and learn so I can achieve my dream. Okay. So if you couldn't become uh, an IT guy or programmer, if you couldn't do that for some reason, I don't know, maybe you're, it doesn't matter why, maybe you had no fingers. What would be your second choice if your first choice did not work? Mm, if my first choice did not work, I think I will be an architect. Yeah, because that... Uh, Architect do uh, designing houses, and that's my favorite hobbies when I'm free. 
and I have a passion for buildings and environment. So I think this job I will do when if I lose. If you couldn't do number one. Okay, no, that's good. Yeah. All right. Topic two. Solution discussion is going to be our second topic. The examiner will give you a situation with three options to select from. You will have one minute to prepare your answer. You will have two to three minutes to discuss your answers. The examiner will ask you to select one option and explain the advantages. You must give two reasons or examples to, to support your answer and then give, give a disadvantage to each of the two options not chosen. So that means I have to give two advantages <coughs> on the option that I chose. One each. All you have to do is give a couple of reasons why you choose one of the three, one, two, or three, and I'm then you give two. one reason why you don't want to do that and why you don't want to do that one. Okay. All that. right. So your town plans to organize an open festival and many visitors will come. Which job below do you think would most suit you, most suitable for you? Now, you could be a tour guide for all those tourists. You could be an event coordinator, help organize all the activities and festival at the festival. Yeah, I know. Or you could be a master of ceremonies. You could be an MC, a speaker, or a host. Which would you choose? I'm going to give you a minute to think about it because you have to come up with two reasons why you choose it and then a disadvantage for the two others that you don't want to do. Yeah, one minute starting now. Okay, so which of the three, tour guide, event coordinator, or master of ceremonies, do you, would you choose to do? Uh, I think I would choose to be an event coordinator. Yeah, because uh, the first reason is the coordinator does not do like heavy thing, like lifting, moving thing. <laughs> uh, they, their job is to control the workers preparing the budgets for the event, um, finding the, and booking the locations. And the most important thing that they have to like, uh, secure the food if they have poisons and the quality of them. Okay. <laughs> My dad told me that. All right, well, that's true because there would be a lot of different jobs. That's true. So, yeah. so why not the other two? Uh, I didn't tell the second reason. Oh, okay. Uh, uh, Running out of time. The, sec so. the second reason is this job have to have two skills that I have. First is communication and uh, negotiation, as I searched to yesterday. Mm -hmm. um, on the reverse side, I don't have enough experiences and patience to be a tour guide, so I don't choose that. I won't be an MC either, either because this job requires confidence and responsiveness in a crowd, and I don't have this ability. So, yeah, I'm shy. I doubt that. Yeah. All right. Good. Good. So we were going. We are going to go to topic three. Part three. Sorry. Topic development. Now, this one's different. I'm going to give you, I'm going to make a statement about something, and then you're either going to support it or, or tear it apart, up to you. Uh, and I gave you a little mind map to be able to put your ideas together to do your presentation. Can I put, like, more things in? Your own ideas, you can, yes, but you only have three to four minutes. Here we go. I'm going to explain it. The examiner will give you a topic to develop in the form of a statement. The task is designed to create more discussion. The examiner will give you an outline. You will have one minute to prepare your answer. In addition, the examiner will ask you three related questions, allowing you to demonstrate supporting details to the topic. 
you will have three to four minutes to give a talk and answer the questions. Okay. You are required to develop the topic using the given mind map to help guide you. Now, what I mean here is in the mind map, I'm going to go to the mind map right here, right? These are some general ideas, right? We're going to talk about smoking should be banned in public statement, uh, public places. That's the statement. Now you can use, um, you know, the, the financial burdens or the secondhand smoke, how it affects your health, other people, and you can add your own ideas. So this is just to give you an idea. So I'm going to give you a minute to put your thoughts together before you do your presentation. So here it is. Smoking, it sh smoking should be banned in public places. Okay. Use this mind map to discuss your topic. You have one minute to prepare. to be nervous about just having a conversation about whether the statement do you agree or not that smoking should be banned in public places no i mean i'm nervous about the homework i didn't do it <laughs> no homework just mm -hmm. just a topic development let's have a discussion okay when will i start right now okay. no pressure uh, smoking should be banned in public places I agree with that point because of these reasons. Um, first of all, both smokers and people who inhale secondhand smoke will get dangerous health issues. Um, when people smoke, uh, the fume from cigarettes goes in your respiratory tract. It harms your lungs and causes cancer. Um, moreover, Young people will repeat what the adults do, and they will think that smoking is a fun thing to enjoy. So they will practice and get addicted to it. Um, secondly, you get financial burden. When you're addicted to smoke, you, you feel that smoking is an essential thing to you. You would do anything just to get a smoke. Uh, smokers will spend all their money for this pleasure, and if they are out of cash, they will have bad behavior like robbing, stealing money from people, and even they do like killing, murder people. Um, in their work, they cannot concentrate, and they keep failing, so they lose their jobs. Mm. The last reason is it ha affects heavily to the environment. Um, these things create uh, carbon dioxide and it causes air pollution. <coughs> well, the number of smokers in, in public places around the world uh, will generate harmful uh, gases from cigarettes, cigarettes and which this contribute to air pollution. Uh, I hope that the government will give heavy fines and stricter laws to punish the smokers. Murder and CO2, carbon dioxide. Wow. Okay. <laughs> I'm bad at chemistry. Oh, my God. All That's right. <laughs> Have you ever had a cigarette, mister? Uh, no, for sure. I haven't. Yeah. Why do you think so many people want to smoke? Millions. Uh, smoke. Why is that? I mean, besides being addicted, why do you think they want to smoke? It's a bit of a they, question. They want to smoke because I think they are curious and they like uh, they do they, they saw someone smoking and they want to do that because they think that is cool. Mm. Yeah. So they smoke. And then they got addicted, for sure. Very good. Um, you already answered this, but I'll ask you anyway. That'd be the last question. What should we do to prevent smoking in public places? Because people still smoke in the malls and still smoke yes. in restaurants. What else can we do to stop this? Um, first, if I, 
uh, if I saw someone sitting near uh, next to me and he's, he or she smokes, I think I will advise them uh, to quit or just not to smoke in public places. So it cannot affect to other people who are non-smoker. Yeah. So the answer is everybody individually needs to do a little bit more to discourage people from smoking in public areas. Yeah. Okay. And I, I have just one. Okay. Can you give me another okay. answer if you like? I think I, I would tell my family and friends about the harm, the harm of the of smoking. Like it, um, it might harm their lungs and causes um, cancer. Yeah, and it cannot be killed for now. Yeah, there's a lot of self-inflicted uh, harm that we do when we smoke. That's for sure. All right, no, that's really good. You did very, very well. I hope we'll see you next week in uh, Interest 37 on Friday. But you did yeah. really, really well. And I, Friday? Is it, is it week? Uh, well, Interest 37. If you continue with us, then yeah, the next class, yeah. Interest I'll 37, continue. starts. Same time, Friday. Is it Friday? No, no, I'm sorry. We do Tuesdays. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. But next week? Next Tuesday is Lesson 1, Interest 37. Yeah, because yeah. there's 40 lessons. There's 40 levels. After we finish interest 40, uh, then we're going to start doing IELTS. Oh, shush. <laughs> well, because we've done all the, that's a, interest 40. The last interest level is C1. Yeah. So then after that, we have no choice. You guys are all like 13, 14 years old by that time. So we have to start doing IELTS. <laughs> okay. All right, buddy. Good job. I hope we see you on Tuesday. If not, have a great weekend. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Bye. Bye, buddy. Yeah.